Okay, here we go. So um, let me open this one up. This is my Rev2 that's going over a second now. And let's go to engineering. Okay, so last video, uh, last on Wednesday, I took and I improved, I believe, I worked on yaw. Um, yeah, I worked on the yaw. Um, so my optimization on yaw improved. At least I thought it did. Um, maybe it, oh, I changed some things. So. Uh, but I got all my, my pitch, my horizontal stabilizer pitch. These are all improved. I did improve my drag. You can see how I did that. Um, I worked on weight a little bit. One thing, uh, if you notice this glider, maybe compared to the one you, if you haven't watched the video from yesterday, I took a lot of weight off of the fuselage. Um, it's, it was very big and had lots of weight. Uh, so a couple of things we want to look at today um, uh, that we didn't look at. And we're going to kind of back up to the weight section. And that is on the uh, on lift. So we haven't really talked a lot, a lot about lift. Um, so uh, a wing, this is a wing shape. Um, our wings are not shaped like this. Our wings are flat. So this is talking about how a wing, but uh, our wings are slightly tilted, which creates lift and I'm not going to go into all the details on that but uh, it's it is a highly studied topic in aerodynamics mostly in experimental forms in wind tunnels this is something that you cannot calculate very well one of the reasons I do like engineering it's very experimental in nature uh, you wouldn't think that being engineering versus science but um, it is very much based on uh, lots of uh, tests in the lab so um, so lift efficiency is, is what I want to talk about. Um, lift, lift is what is going to keep our aircraft in the air and make it stay in the air. And of course it's acting against the weight. Now lift efficiency, um, the more, the more surface we have, um, wait, they call it wing planner area the more wing area we have, the more lift we're gonna, that's the only thing that's gonna generate lift is wing area. Um, and, and glider weight is what's gonna hold, you know, it's gonna create uh, the force of gravity through its mass and it's gonna pull our glider down. So a high lift efficiency means we have lots of surface area and, and low weight. So a uh, bigger number on the top, smaller number on the bottom. So we can say, um, the lift efficiency rate uh, can be used to compare, the LDR can, can be used to compare different designs. A glider with a higher lift efficiency rating should fly longer than a lower one, even if the overall weight is slightly heavier. So this is a kind of counterintuitive because you think, oh, if I just make my glider lighter, it's gonna fly more, fly further. Uh, fly longer, I guess, um, but that's not entirely the case. So um, making the wings bigger will, will add mass, will make it heavier, but you're also getting a higher lift efficiency. So if we look at our engineering, we can see our lift efficiency under lift. So I'm gonna show that. And here's our lift efficiency. That's 18.88. Now, uh, my mass and my area, that's what it's based on. So let's just try changing our wing. Let's see if what happens if we make our wing a little bit bigger and see if it improves our lift efficiency. So we can go to our wing and I'm just gonna make it a little bit um, longer. So I can pull down and I can make it. Okay, so notice uh, my lift efficiency went up a lot. I just made my wing a lot bigger now, but as I change that, notice what happened. My pitch horizontal stabilizer, um, op the optimization went way down. Okay, so horizontal stabilizer, if you recall from my first video, that was the ratio between the wing and the horizontal stabilizer. So I believe it was one sixth 
one eight. So if we, we look at pitch, uh, we should be able to see that our areas of our wing versus our horizontal stabilizers are no longer in that range. So it looks like, um, so let's see what we could get. If we went for one six, uh, we want to be around 25 and we're at 15. So that's why we drop. So, um, so, okay. So this is an example of how you would do a design um, summary, a design, con a note for your design. So for your design summary, you want to look at a concept. Okay. Right now I'm looking at lift. I'm looking at lift efficiency and I'm trying to improve that. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two changes right now. I'm gonna make the change to the wing area. And I'm also gonna fix this uh, pitch because I, I don't wanna test my plane and have it not fly well because I, I made a change that caused something else to need to change. Does that make sense? I'm changing, I'm trying to change one thing, but I need to bring everything else back into kind of an optimized, uh, optimized state before I test. So I'm gonna fix the pitch I'm um, gonna try to get that to be around 25 for the stabilizer area. So I'm going to change that. And for your, once you get your plane flying, um, you only need three inspect concepts that improve your design. So if I make this change and it doesn't improve, I should try to make some other changes to get it to improve. Now I have one, in, one documented improvement. So that's what I'm shooting for here. Um, well, I'm, I want it to be in spec and we'll check the specs too. Uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. And there we go. I've got my pitch, my stabilizer pitch back up again. So um, I think I'm ready to save my note. So file, save, and I'm gonna type, okay. Um, working, um, Adding this for my own uh, notes where I got the information, uh, make it easy for me to find your research. So I'm looking at lift efficiency um, at made by making I can't type today. So uh, as my um, my wing, I'm gonna abbreviate here. These are my notes. So I know HS for me is horizontal, horizontal stabilizer ratio to get to need updating. So increase. Okay, so I have what I was doing. Um, what my research was was uh, based on, or uh, where I was looking in the research, and um, the, I also have what the things I changed. Uh, so when you do your um, when you do your note, when you do your save and enter competition, if you change things like wing area and wing size, those aren't reflected in the change log in your journal. So you've got to type this um, in the note. Okay. Let's see how we did um, save and enter competition. I can just go to my journal now and see if I improved it. And oh boy, look at that. I went from 2.7 2.27 to 4.35. So uh, my lift efficiency, if I click on here, it, it went from 18.88 to 21.87. So I can write in my designs, I can do it right now. If you want to do this as you go, um, in revision three, um, I can even take, if, if I did a good job writing my note, I can just take it right here. Um, and you can clean it up a little bit. All uh, right. made you can uh, you can be even more uh, a lot of times this is helpful um, 
So I made the wing area larger, caused my wing. Wing to, this is where you're gonna to wanna to change your notes into things I'm gonna understand. And horizontal, you can, uh, Trace the bring one six. Okay, so use as much data as you can in there. Um, uh, and then what, what, how did it affect? This improved my flight time by it's like approximately 2.27 to 4.35. You can round here by approximately two seconds, right? So this gives, you, gives me a real quick indication of what you did, why you did it, and how did it impact your design. Those are the three um, those are the three rubric categories, okay? So you want to do this three times and talk about, so this is all, so really your report, your report, your whole design summary could be three of these, right? Don't forget to save. Um, and, and that's it. So that's, that's a, um, that's a good design iteration. So Let's see how much time we have left here. Okay, we got time for one more here. Um, so let's move on to um, that's lift efficiency, weight and wing area. So that's a big one. Um, drag is the other one I, look, I wanna look at. In drag, we have section on drag here. Uh, you remember drags from rockets. Um, so Streamlining can reduce drag. Um, that's actually, I think I did this in the other video, but um, uh, we, we can easily fix drag by changing our shape of our wing to a, from a uh, shape of our wing and horizontal stabilizer to what's called a B spline. So this is a kind of a, oh, I'm sorry, this is the wing. Uh, I don't want to go to the wing here. Um, oh, I'm sorry, sanding level. So uh, sanding should help drag a little bit. If I show my drag, I thought I did this, I might've done this already. So drag, um, where's my drag indication? Okay, I think drag is only showing up there for some reason. And Anyway, um, standing level will help drag. So if we add more standing, it should help drag. It should bring your drag all the way to the top there if you change standing. Um, the other thing we want to do is, is uh, improve stability by using dihedrals. Uh, so a wing that is, you notice my wing has several creases in it, they're called. Uh, and that is, is part of the roll improvement. Um, that is a common thing on a glider. A glider usually has a, a dihedral uh, wing or a polyhedral. So uh, there's a lot of information here about uh, why this is important, but uh, it keeps your plane from oscillating back and forth to maintain level of flight. Uh, without a dihedral, an aircraft can't be stable. So you need to add a little bit of this. So this is a huge improvement for a little bit of a change. Now, how much change should you do? Well, there's a there's a point where it's it's not going to help your flight times by adding too much. So if you look at this graph, they're adding a little bit more and adding a little more. Notice the flight time increased. And by the way, this is exactly what you would want to do if you want to investigate how much dihedral, uh, polyhedral you want to add. Um, notice they added more and it's decreasing the flight time. They actually say too much, um, uh, too much dihedral can make your plane overly stable, um, which 
is is not uh, good. So here we go, and we make it. Uh, if it's too high, it decreases the flight time. So in our engineering section, um, we can change the angles here, and you can optimize those. Uh, you can change them, see what it, that happens to your flight time. Um, that is another uh, another thing you can do. So let's see what happens here. I I have a I have a I saved an answer. So this is where before we start making another change, I want to make sure. Okay, I haven't changed anything else. I already saved a note that has my last uh, change, and I already took a note on it, and it's already um, been tested. So now I can do something else. So. You want to be careful when you're doing your, your iterations. You don't change too many things at once before you save and take a note. So I'm going to look at dihedral angle. So I think we can see this if we look at, look at it from the front really well. Um, I can shut off the wing. I know I can't. So the dihedral angle is probably 10 degrees. So you can see it pitched up a little bit. So the tip, I'm just kind of playing with these. Oh, my roll improved, notice. Um, so that's good. And my tip dihedral, it's two bends in here. So let's go up uh, 20. I'm going up five degrees in each. So it improved it even more according to the optimization. So what I'm going to say in my note is I... I, so a polyhedral, which means it has multiple bends, um, tip dihedral uh, will just have one bend at the tip, and yeah, dihedral is just bent in the middle. So that's the three different dihedrals. And um, I'm going to say I increased save. So this is going to be um, increased. Um, both by five degrees. Now this is important to say how much you change something. And it doesn't say in the change log what the old value was. Um, to improve roll uh, uh, research. Uh, indicates my glider it says okay so just re re reference the research you read all you got to do is say yeah this is what it says uh, this is what I want to do so save and enter competition and let's see how we did if you follow that research, you're always going to get improvements. Oh, look at that. I like it. 6.32. Um, so that is a good improvement. So I can say in revision four, um, if I took good notes, I can just copy them. Uh, And then I put my what I, I put what happened. Um, flight time by let's see, I went from four point three to another two seconds. So you can see I'm taking good notes. Um, I'm just being organized and slowly improving things. Uh, if you go down, that's fine. You can. You can say in revision five and six, I reverted my changes. You know, if you go down a little bit, um, it, it's up to you. You can only talk about the improvements in your design summary. So that's kind of what uh, a good way to organize. I know there were a lot of questions last time about how to organize your notes and design summaries. So I'm gonna stop recording. That's. Um,